a lesson for all daily at 6 a.m. Recording for Alpha, Monday, September 13, 2021, take two and action. Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Alpha. I am Elder Million, let us pray. Father, it's always our joy to feast on your word. As we come today, Lord, and as we listen to your words, may we digest them and may your word nourish our souls in Jesus' name. Amen. Today, as we continue to look at the restless prophet Jonah, we will be looking specifically at the three days he spent in the belly of a fish. Today's caption calls it a three days rest. In yesterday's lesson, we saw Jonah trying to run away from God. But after a storm threatened to take the lives of all the men on the boat that he was trying to get away in, the men on the ship had to throw him overboard. The Bible tells us that God provided a fish to save him. The lesson points out that it was only when Jonah found himself in this three days forced rest that he realized how dependent he was on God. Here is a sobering quote from the lesson. Sometimes we have to be brought to the place where we don't have anything that this world offers to lean on in order to realize that Jesus is who we really need. This is exactly what brought Jonah to his knees. Recognizing that only God could save him, Jonah decided to pray. The focus of his prayer was on the sanctuary or the temple. But why? Because you find the presence of God in the sanctuary. And this was so important to Jonah because he knew that the grace and salvation that he needed could only be found in the place where God dwells. After his prayer, God allowed the fish to spit him out. And after experiencing this great miracle from the hands of God, Jonah headed to Nineveh, where, he, where God had sent him in the first place. What is today's takeaway? Even when we choose to disobey God, he will do things to get our attention. And if we truly repent and recognize our utter dependence on him, he will turn things around for us. Lastly, the best place to be is in God's will. And that, my friends, is a lesson for all. Let us pray. Thank you, Father, for your words. Thank you for the reminder that it is in you we live. It is in you we move. It is in, in you we have our entire being. And so, Lord, we are depending on you today. Thank you, Lord, for the gift of salvation. Thank you that like Jonah, you saved us from eternal death. Lord, I leave all into your big, wonderful hands today. Amen. Join us again tomorrow, my friends, for another episode of Alpha. God bless you. A lesson for all daily at 6 a.m.